Captain Howdy. Congrats on the subs. Here is my entry for your contest. Hello VC, thanks for joining me again. If you don't know SMF Captain Howdy, um, I highly recommend his channel uh, if you're into metal, Kiss, The Beatles, uh, a lot of good classic rock stuff. Um, Captain Howdy is also an autograph collector and he goes to the extremes to get some of these autographs so his collection is very impressive. So once again congrats on the subs very well deserved and uh, here is my entry into your contest um, so much like the needle grooves 10 desert island discs, this one also proved to be very difficult for me um, but to go into the reasons why um, a lot of people get to the point where stuff is overplayed and you know when I start to reach that point of saturation on a band or a song Usually, it's an indicator to me that I need to put them on the shelf for a while. And uh, I've done that even with my favorite bands that, okay, I'll give them a listen, but then I'll put it on the shelf because I don't want to kill what's necessarily good. Uh, but uh, the bands I am going to show, uh, just going through my history of listening to music, um, there are a couple of bands that uh, have done songs that have burnt me out and so I have definitely put them on the shelf for the longest time but there are a couple songs which I just cannot play uh, again because of different reasons why either it was being overplayed on the radio or uh, in one case I had a ex-girlfriend that just loved one song and played it over and over again and, and I'll get into that one uh, another reason is you know there might be some songs on albums that just are a weaker link and you know I don't really care for the song construction that much I think it was uh, really you know kind of filler material and you know I have a bunch of albums where you have two or three songs which feel like filler material where you just skip them over uh, but you know there are some solid albums that you know nine out of the ten tracks are really good and they have that one song that just feels like filler um, so to get into it uh, the first thing I'm going to show is a CD because I don't think this particular album has ever been issued on vinyl. And this is uh, Lenny Kravitz's Five. Um, in my opinion, this was the last solid Lenny Kravitz album. But to be fair, um, you know, I haven't picked up his most recent couple of albums. I just, um, after listening to the two albums that came after this, I just felt that. Uh, he was going for a more commercial aspect that uh, I did not like and this is one of the songs uh, that did get overplayed for me and uh, fly away just you know when this album came out that was the only song that they were just really really hitting off this album and uh, this album is a really really solid album I thought it was good all the way through but fly away um, because it was being played so much on the radio um, I just had to hang it up. I mean, I couldn't play it, but I hope they will issue this guy on vinyl because, yes, I do love the rest of this album. And again, I thought it was solid all the way through. Um, it's just too bad they didn't choose more of the tracks off this album to play. And again, I think this is one of uh, Mr. Kravitz's uh, finest moments. So the next one. I know Brother Panix is probably going to ridicule me for it but this is a case where I had an ex-girlfriend that you know loved Fool in the Rain off of In Through the Outdoor um, definitely uh, I do appreciate that you know Zeppelin did something different and they went with the Samba type feel um, but Fool in the Rain got overplayed by an ex-girlfriend and that was the only song that she loved from the Zeppelin catalog and sorry I just cannot I can listen to it but you know when I hear it I have recollections of the worst moments of that relationship so yeah next one uh, I tr try to go for albums that I think everyone would recognize um, 
Rolling Stones Tattoo You. Um, again, another fine album. Uh, I really think that this was the last solid Stones album uh, that came out in uh, 81. Uh, but I do think it had a track that was weaker than the rest, and that was Neighbors. Um, it does have a good solid bridge section by Keith Richards, which, you know, I think is just fantastic. But uh, the uh, vocal harmonies with uh, Mick Jagger just didn't work for me. Next up, Def Leppard, Hysteria. Uh, this is another album that you know I had on cassette uh, when it first came out. I played the cassette so much that I wore off all the printed writing on the cassette. Um, but I did feel that it did have a song that was a weaker link, and that was Don't Shoot Shotgun. Um, I thought it had a really cheesy vocal effect where, you know... Uh, you know, they, they have the, the main vocal, and then they had a follow-on, uh, repeating, uh, call and repeat response that, you know, just didn't work for me. I felt that the song construction was very poor on a rather solid album by the band, and this was the one that, you know, really shot them into superstardom after Pyromania. But uh, I do still love this album, but don't shoot shotgun. You're the weakest link in the chain. Last one, another one that I had on cassette for the longest time from uh, NXS's Kick. Um, you know, what I didn't care for, another solid album, but you know, song construction for uh, Calling All Nations. Uh, yeah, again, it didn't. It didn't feel like there was a lot of thought process that went into a song where all the other ones, you know. It was a nice varied um, flavor of different songs throughout the album and this had a number of number one hits that made the radio but Calling All Nations you know, that to me that felt like just come on guys you can do better than that and it's a shame but I love this album so there you have it five songs five albums uh, I hope these were all albums that folks know and they recognize so uh, thank you for watching and once again um, SMF Captain Howdy uh, congrats and uh, I hope you enjoy this response have a great week everyone